Absolutely. You know, um, not going to promise a ton of yeah. sunshine for it today, but so we are going to see a few breaks in the clouds, especially for our friends in the southeastern part of the state. I want to start, though, what's going on down in Texas this morning. Of course, we've got some measurable snowfall going on down there as this transitions from rain to snow as that colder air takes over down to our south and of course down to our southwest for us here locally. It's been very quiet. We've had some lingering clouds, but uh, other than that, our weather pattern has stayed uh, pretty mundane today, tomorrow into a good portion of this next week. We're really going to miss out on a lot of these weather systems are going to stay at bay to our south. So we'll keep those lingering clouds around for today with a few peaks of sunshine the later in the afternoon we get and it's going to be a cold start to our day. Temperature still going to be in the 20s through 11 o'clock this morning, and we don't look to get back above freezing until after lunchtime today by 3 p.m. back up to 34, and that's where we will uh, see the daytime highs today. And it really depends on where you are in the state because check out what's going to happen. We'll have some lingering cloud cover, especially in the northwestern tier of the state. So our friends up in Lafayette. Over to Kokomo, yeah, not going to see as much sunshine for today, and that means it's going to stay cooler. Now, where the sun does come out, more so over in Richmond, down to Columbus, tack on an additional few degrees where the temperature will warm up with the help of that sunshine. Now, overnight tonight, we'll keep it partly cloudy. On into our Monday, we finally start to clear this cloud cover out, especially for the southern half of the state. This takes us on through Tuesday here, 7 a.m. Still going to call it a mostly clear day. That means more sunshine and with it, uh, we're going to see warmer temperatures. So everything on that upward trend looking ahead. Still going to be cool tomorrow though, around 23 to get our Monday started. But into the afternoon, as the sky does clear, we will see temperatures back into the mid 30s for highs on Monday. Now this is that storm system that we were just talking about. It's going to scoop through the Gulf of Mexico, pick up a little bit more moisture, but staying at bay two hours south moves across the southeastern US and eventually out to the Atlantic. So that says not going to have any impact on our local weather here. We're going to keep it quiet, really not anticipating our next weather system to move in until we get into late Thursday and then into Friday. At that point, a rain snow combination is going to be a possibility, but until then, Again, it stays pretty quiet with the best chance of any accumulating snow staying well to our south, which kind of seems odd. I know typically we would expect snow to our north, but it's going to be the opposite with that system down there. Uh, at this point into the season, we are nearly eight inches into a snowfall deficit. So yes, it is an abnormally low snowfall winter so far and really not a lot of chances here in the next seven days. In fact, we're going to do the opposite. We'll warm up, bringing back mostly sunny skies. 42 on Tuesday. The warmest of the week will be Thursday, but with increasing clouds and that late day chance of rain changing over to snow with some light snow showers again possible as that colder air settles in on Friday.